Hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome to Lamiel Magic. I am Lamiel, uh, the priestess Lamiel, and I, let's see, just cut scratch. <clears throat> Okay, welcome to Lamiel Magic. I am Priestess Lamiel of Lamiel.com and we are finally continuing this series on the 20 days to ignite your intuition. We had technical difficulties, we had coronavirus, we had all kinds of things going on, but we are back and I'm here today to record um, the rest of our series for you that you'll get to see on a daily basis. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, um, take any of my upcoming magic courses. I also teach on manifesting money, mostly um, magic, spirituality, and high vibrational living. So all of that information you'll be able to find with all the links down below. So let's get started. Uh, the remainder of the series, they will be all very quick, uh, but to the point with as much detail as I can give you in five minutes or less, I'm going to give you an exercise to help you ignite your intuition. When you're doing magic, intuition um, is everything. When you are manifesting, um, your intuition is your guidance system. When you are on a spiritual path and have a spiritual journey and um, are looking to enhance your spirituality, intuition is your guide. So that's the reason that it's so important. And a lot of people, just from the sheer nature of how society is, has become disconnected. So these 20 tips will help you get reconnected um, and hopefully you on your own will be able to expand or it will motivate you to take a course and do some more search and practice in and of yourself so that your intuition can be your guide on your journey. So today we are talking about the concept of think back. That's what it's called. But the idea is that you are to think backwards and you only need to do this for one minute one minute a day and if you're new if this is the first video that you've seen i want you to stop i want you to go back start with day one because these do build um not as much as like our manifesting series over on lamiel tv um these can be done in different orders but uh, i encourage you to start from day one so um, the other thing you're going to need is a journal to continue with the series because there are going to be things that you're going to want to write you want to keep everything all together just that you have the ability to look back, see your growth, um, and have one place to keep everything as you go through the next. Well, we're on day five, so we have another 15 days to go. So this technique of backwards thinking, you wanna take one minute a day, and this is good at the end of your day is to get into your relaxed state, right? Most of these practices do require you to have some sense of calm. So you want to relax your mind, let your thoughts settle, and then what I want you to do is remember your day from the moment you got in the bed and start it to relax to the beginning of the day when you woke up. Now, the challenge here is that it's not well, what did I do when I first woke up? Yada, yada, yada. That's a very logical way of thinking. I want you to think of right before I got in the bed, I took a shower. Um, I was downstairs. I got something to drink. Uh, I was in the kitchen. And then I had gotten up from the sofa. And I was on the phone. Prior to that, I came in the door. Prior to that, I was driving um home and i had just left the office and uh at the office x y and z happened right so you're remembering this whole day in reverse <clears throat> the reason that we're going to do this exercise and you can do this multiple times a day it's just a lot easier to do it in the evening and if you are new at this uh once a day works great 
So this wakes your brain up and it forces you to think in a new perspective. When you're dealing with intuition, the logical thing is not the right thing necessarily, right? So you want to start training yourself to see things outside of the box, outside of logic, outside of ego, outside of all of those things. And so going backwards and remembering your day backwards will do that for you. Um, quick things that I want you to, it also does, and I kind of touched on this a little bit, this will change. This practice will change your dominant way of thinking. So right now, most people's dominant way of thinking is logical. These types of exercises, this one in particular, but all of these in this series are going to change the dominant thought pattern of your brain, which means it's going to no longer be logical and be more, much more intuitive, right? And sometimes it's like, no, I really feel like we need to go this way, but logic says that's the best way to go. They go that way, you go that way, and you're there faster, safer, whatever, because intuition is guiding you, right? Your intuition is your spirit guides. It's your higher self. It is, you know, God, source, universe, um, all talking to you and, um, and taking you in the di direction that best serves your higher good. Whereas logic just is all you can see and all that can be proven in this moment. But we're so much more than that. And it's a logical thinking is a very physical, three-dimensional thought pattern. And we just have a, a physical body. We are spiritual beings. So the change and the shift will definitely help you. So some things to be aware of is that some of you may get dizzy. People who really have not experienced this backwards thinking will feel dizzy. If you start to feel dizzy, just stop and then try it again at another time. Um, this process won't be instant for some people. Some people are only gonna be able to remember you know, three or four things. I have a couple of kids who can walk up the stairs and forget what they came upstairs for, or my son will leave and come back three times because he forgets things, but he can remember everything backwards, right? Because he doesn't have a logical thought pattern. So it may not be instant for you, and it, this, this may take some work. The idea of this practice is to try it for one minute every day for the remainder of the series. And so that is our think back uh, lesson for today. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. If you enjoyed this video, you tried this practice, please leave me a comment down below. Um, if you have questions, uh, want more immediate responses, you can message me on Instagram where I'm a lot more active and um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in tomorrow's video.